So he's going to have to sleep with the cone. Hi. I told everybody we'd do an update when we were here. Can you say hi? We're going to put the cone on. Say hi. Can you sit? Do you know sit? Sit? No, we don't know that. We don't know that. We weren't taught that. Hi, handsome. 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 Where's your toy? Go get your toy. Where is it? Where's your stuffy? You got the cutest face with the stuffy in it. Where's your stuffy? Mm-hmm. Where's your stuffy? Is that the one? Let me see. You gonna bring it to me to show me? Wait. You've got the cutest mouth with the stuffy in it. Here. Here. Come here. Let's take this off. We got the baby gates up, so we don't need this on. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Where's your stuffy? Where'd it go? Where's your favorite stuffy? You guys, I'm trying to get him to do this because I was helping get the baby gates up and situated. There it goes. There it goes. Watch your face. And he stood behind me with this in his mouth, and it was the cutest thing I'd ever seen. Because his chubby little cheeks wrap around the toy, and he's, like, just so proud of himself. He wants to show you the toy. Hi. Hi, bud. Hi. Hi, handsome face. Hi, smushy face. Hi, smushy face. We have settled into our foster home. We went over everything. We went over the medications. We went over sleeping. We went over what? The cone situation. And unfortunately, <laughs> that's my shorts. Unfortunately, even though she's got a beautiful fenced in yard, he needs to be on leash in the yard because we cannot risk him deciding to roll around. Ah, ah, ah. Nope. You've been good. Don't make me put the comb back on. He can't roll around in the grass because he could do damage to his back, so he has to stay on leash. We are allowing him to have the cone off just for a little bit as long as he does not go after his back. The minute he starts doing it, the cone has to go back on because it is itchy. But we are so excited to have been able to bust him out of the critical care 24-hour emergency hospital and bring him to his foster home. This is a huge step for this boy to be cleared to leave the hospital and go to foster. So we are beside ourselves with excitement. He has been checking out the house. Like I said, he picked up a stuffy and he was walking around showing me while I was putting up the baby gates. Just like so proud of himself. Looking around at everything. I don't know if he's ever been in a home before. I know. You're very itchy, I know. I know. He is still on oral medications that he receives three times a day that we went over with foster mommy. He still has to have his bandages changed. Actually, tomorrow morning he has to go in, um, as I stated on the earlier video, he needs to go in for a little procedure where he will be sedated and they will attempt to close up the hole on his lower back. It's taking um, longer than they would like to heal, so they wanna help it along a little bit by doing this little procedure. It's not just like stitching it closed, it's an actual procedure with a surgeon um, just to kind of help the healing process along. So he is still got a long way to go, but we're thrilled that he was given the okay to leave the hospital. 
His foster mommy Jennifer is committed to keeping him safe and well cared for and also for the back and forth hospital trips for bandage changes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> There's a mushy face. That's my favorite mushy face. Yes, it is. Hey, do handsome. And while I have all of you on here, I wanted to open this for Adonis. We were not able to do it before today because he was in the hospital. And um, unfortunately, anything that goes in the hospital tends to get lost, and we did not want that to happen. So we waited until we were safely in his foster home. Yes, this is for you. It is. It's not a treat or anything. I'm sorry, buddy. I think it's a treat. Try to do this with one hand. <laughs> But there's this little card. It may be hard to imagine right now. And look, the cone. Look. <gasps> there's the cone. There's the cone. It may be hard to imagine right now, Adonis, but what you will get through this. Hang in there and feel better soon. Sweet baby, please feel the prayers. And comfort of this special blessed blanket. We love you. God bless you. Cindy Baker. Thank you so much. I'm going to have to have Jennifer help me get that out of there. <gasps> what is that? Is it something I can eat? No, no. Down, down. <laughs> down, silly. Down, down buddy. Down, boy. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, there is something you can eat in here. Oh, boy. Little treats. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's mine. It's mine. I Let me it's open it. To be for me. Let me open it. Oh look, oh, look more toys. Look. <gasps> Is that for you? That's a toy for you. Until good boy. Good boy, Adonis. Oh, and a pineapple. Adonis, look. <gasps> You want the pineapple? Like, oh, yep, that's yeah. yours too. Oh, look how pretty. And his beautiful, beautiful prayer blanket that has been blessed by many. Oh, it is beautiful, Cindy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do you like it, Adonis? It matches it your room match. dressing. Oh, he likes the toy. Yay. There it is. There's the, there's the scrunchy face with the toy. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, let's see. There it is. <laughs> there it is. You got your toy? Do you got your stuffy? <gasps> Let me see the stuffy. Let me see the stuffy. Okay. Okay. Hi, cutie pie. Hi. Oh, it is so good to see him with a toy in his mouth. It's amazing. Oh, he wants to always make it squeak. Oh. <gasps> you want time. both? Do you yeah. want both? I want both. They're both yours. You can have them. Do you like this? We're going to put this on your board. So thank you so very much, Cindy. Was it Cindy Baker? I want to get the name right. Cindy oh, Baker okay, with Fab. Fur Angel Blessing Blanketeers for making a beautiful, beautiful prayer blanket for our Adonis and sending toys for him oh, and cute. treats oh, look at that. <laughs> makes our hearts so happy to see him out of the hospital and enjoying things like a bed and toys as i said he still has a long road ahead of him if you could please donate for his ongoing continuing care. Tomorrow morning he has an appointment back at LVS where we just busted him out of for a procedure where he will need to be sedated. They will clean his wounds out again. They will. The surgeon will do this little procedure to help 
close up the hole in his back a little bit better than it's doing on its own. And then he still has to go back every other day for bandage changes. He's still on meds. Then he will still need to be vaccinated and microchipped and neutered. So he still has a very long road ahead of him, but this is one huge step in the right direction by him busting out of the hospital and being able to go to foster. So we are super, super happy about this. And thank you so nose. much, Jennifer. I know you don't want me to put the camera on you. No. <laughs> You'll recognize the couch. But we thank you so disco. much. Yeah, and Caitlin, who will be home soon, I'm sure will fall just as instantly in love as Jennifer has and we all have with this big mush face. Right? Can go get your toys? Oh, he really likes those. Good boy, Adonis. Good boy. I see you. Good boy. So he is going to have some dinner soon. In his nighttime meds, he'll relax. He'll go outside on leash, do his business. And he will sleep, not in a cage tonight, in a hospital. He will sleep in a home tonight. Fosters are amazing. They are like gold to us. This is the reason we were able to say yes to Adonis in the first place. Because we had an amazing foster in place for him. To take him in the minute he was released from the hospital. What's that? That's a stove, and that's you in there. What? What? Hi, love, Muffin. <laughs> so I'm going to sign off now because I can't see my phone anymore because the battery's about to die. I feel like Amy. <laughs> so this is Tiffany with our happy update. Adonis is out of the hospital and in a foster home, but definitely not out of the woods yet. So please donate for his ongoing medical care. And we will keep you updated every step of the way. This is Tiffany and Adonis, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Say thank you, Adonis. Say thank you, everybody. <laughs> Such good stuff. <laughs>